<laughs> Welcome to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. So, some amount of done, so no. So, <laughs> look, man, look, look, look. So, Rapper Cropper put up this video, right? That has some new wannabe vlogger, I guess, or is a vlogger. I don't know. I would have never known of her had it not been for him putting that video up, right? I have some questions here, but I'm not going to get into that yet. Let me just say this. Some of our people are dunce. Some of our people are criminals. Some of our people are murderers. Some of our people are thieves. Some of our people are malicious, hateful, envious. Some of our people are all of the things that are bad, right? And then some are good people. Now, I try to gravitate towards the good people. You know what I'm saying? So when I do a video and I say, someone a done sinner, what's there for me to have to owe Jamaica an explanation if me says someone, if someone a done sinner? I have to, I have to now explain to Jamaica why. Do you see how dunce even the individual trying to t get me to explain or to, I'm, I'm feeling dunce just having to do this video. And I know that many of my intelligent subscribers are going to say, here we go again, so flow, man. I'm going to tell us enough to answer them people here. I'm addressing something, though. Listen to this. So, Rapper Cropper called me the other day. Big up to Rapper Cropper. Big up yourself. I won't go into details about the um, conversation. It wasn't nothing secret. He called me and asked me how much I charge for promos. And then, from that conversation, how much I charge for promos, he went on to talk about how how the vlogging thing going and how much him charge not in details how much he charge but he's saying him charge a fee yeah and we went on to talk how people want you to do stuff for them for free with your platform not understanding the sacrifices it takes to build that platform and say you're putting in work yeah so when the thing reach a hundred thousand subscribers now if i should charge you for a video i'm gonna charge you i like a thing for give you exposure i've seen people put up their own video and four months later, they linked me to put the video up because they put it up on a channel. And in four months, them video have a hundred views. They give me the video to put up and in 24 hours, the video have thousands of views. It's a different audience, right? Some people don't respect that. So that was basically what our conversation was about. But he went on to say things about how, yeah man, if we go Jamaica, we have to um, be careful on them thing that because it's true, we have burn out the crime thing and all that. Um, I was thinking to myself, I don't really hear him burning out the crime thing, not like how I'm doing it, because I pioneered this. I'm the one that started this, and I got a lot of flack and a lot of hate for it, and a lot of ignorant Jamaican people saying, may I make Jamaica look bad, when the intelligent people are definitely on my side, because they're saying, he's not making Jamaica look bad, he's not saying anything that's not put in the news already, the national news, Panim Lickle Channel. My little channel compared to TVJ, CVM, even CNN, NBC, Fox News, and these big brands, BBC, World News, all these things. You're not cursing out any of those for, for um, highlighting these things happening in Jamaica, but you curse SoFlo TV, Film Little Channel. That alone in itself shows you the level of bad mind. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was good when you had 10,000 subscribers. As soon as you have 90,000, 100,000 subscribers, boy, the boy, I make enough money on YouTube, you know, we have to go find a way to tear him down and want to um, do this whole tear down thing. And when I say everybody, I don't mean everybody as in everyone. I'm talking about everybody that's on the hate train. Anyway, I, I, I just formulated a WhatsApp group, right? And in the WhatsApp group, somebody just shared the video. See, a video come through on Rapper Crapper channel. At first, I kicked it out of the group because I thought it was someone posting a video that I had already seen. All right. I said somebody sent it to me directly. So I clicked on it because the title says... Now, this is coming from somebody who just called me a week ago and spoke to me. And, all right, my general, now say, now say a word. Everything up. Everything good. And then back to back to this video from other people drop. Now, I don't know if my brother don't understand the level of his platform or the power of his platform, or maybe he does, you know what I'm saying? Because some people, them sneaky like that. I don't know how to hide and talk nothing. But just talk it how it is, right? And I don't want no beef with nobody because them things that don't benefit anyone. But I'm saying, look, so someone's over there trying to discredit SoFlo TV and putting up a whole bunch of hatred, hatred stuff or, you know, 
you're going to give them the platform now for them to what? For a million ears to hear them instead of for 50 ears to hear. So you're actually a part of the teardown process. You understand what I'm saying to you? If y'all have ever seen me put up a video of any one of these vloggers where I'm saying uh, anything derogatory about them other than defending myself from what they've said about me, then I want you to come forward. I don't have time for it. I don't have time for it. It beats me though, and I want to know why that why rapper cropper call me and have a good conversation and then back to back videos drop of people this a money at this so floor TV. First he did the Amari video like right after we had a conversation. Now if you are able to call me and I answer my phone when it's you and you know me I gonna answer the phone when it's you, right? Why didn't you call and say, yo, brother, you know see the video where where, where um Amari put up? Or, yo, you know, say the video where, what's your name? Something Judah, Judah. Empress Judah. Whatever her name is, me never know about her before till now. But you, why didn't you call me and say, yo, so flow, you know, see that video here. Why did you take it and turn it into a whole topic and then look at your headline? You know what I'm saying? I still stand behind what I say about the video she's trying to dispute. But, hey. Why couldn't she go do a video about what's going on in Jamaica? Or do a video about something uplifting then? Or talk about Heroes Day, National Heroes Day, because that's what it is today. And you are empress with your dreadlocks and trying to look Afrocentric and be Afrocentric. Why and you're so concerned about the people and all that. Why don't you do a video like that? Why are you over here telling me about I owe Jamaican people an explanation? Why would I have to explain myself to a whole country of people? When I said summer uno, or did I say all our uno Jamaican people dance? No. Okay? Now the whole video she's trying to talk about, she have proof, is the same thing. When CV, <laughs> CV up there talk about, I wanted to be a part of his thing. And you see, you see what he draw for for proof? And you see what it was? I discredited that because it was no proof. It was me doing what? Asking about the vlogging world and saying I want to get into the vlogging world, not into your thing. So be careful what y'all see out there and think is real thing. I hate to have to defend myself against these people. Let me explain to my intelligent people something though. The way how social media works, right? There are a lot of good people out here that have good intentions, but the thing about it is this. There's so much stuff that's bombarding you on, so, on um, social media that it's very easy for a cunning snake to actually steal you away, if you understand what I'm saying, or steer you in the wrong direction. All of a sudden, you hate somebody because you thought they said this, and then later on, when you find out what they said, you're apologizing or you're resubscribing to a channel you unsubscribe from for something that you yourself just couldn't figure out for yourself. Check it out. I went over there and I checked the comment section because this is regular now. So there's a part on every one of us channel where if you block people, if you block people, YouTube doesn't do away with it. They leave you the long list of people with their icon and everything and everything. May just block two females today on my channel that were very active subscribers and commenters. And I blocked them today, right? Because they will come and then will act like they're supporting the thing. But if somebody says something like, up under your mother or something, they laugh out loud, laugh out loud, emoji, emoji, crying face. Like, that's not something to encourage. You understand? That's not something to encourage. And I warned them multiple times. But I know that. There are other people who just come out straight disrespect. And instead of me going back and forth, arguing with them, there are people that come to my channel that want to leave intelligent comments. And I want them to do so. I don't want them to be bombarded by up under them mother comments and all this. And feel like they're afraid to leave their intelligent comments. So what I do is I block those people. And I delete their comments. I don't know if they don't know. But YouTube has a way for us the creators to block and delete with one and hide this person from your channel. So any other video they go on, they could even type and think their, their uh, comments going up. And it's going to a trash box somewhere. Right? So check it. I went over there, I checked the comment section, and who did I see? A lot of the people that I have already blocked and deleted from SoFlow TV. So they're over there trying to comment and they can't get to me, right? So they go to other vloggers' channels 
and they leave their nasty comments. Not everybody's going to like you. I'm perfectly fine with that. I like myself. <laughs> okay? I like myself. I'm a very confident individual in what I do. I like me. I, matter of fact, I love me. So I don't need anyone else's approval to make me feel loved or make me feel validated or make me feel smart or make me feel like I'm worth something. I don't need a clique and a crew and a gang. I can stand on my own. You understand? So I'm not intimidated by any of that and not worried by, about any of that. I just thought I would address that because I want to know why the man talk to me nice and then come drop this video after this video from other people. Why couldn't you have called? That's all I want to know. So big up yourself, man. It ain't nothing. That's just the way it is. And people do what they do and they have their reasons for doing what they do. I'm out here close to the Mexican border. Back on my money. I'm out here in Texas doing what I do. Right? And I'm still running my channel and I'm still back to my 9 to 5. And I'm living life. And I got my wife and I got my son with me. I'm good. I'm good. And I suggest that y'all do the same. Go have a good, productive, progressive life. Yeah? And don't let nobody steer you out of your element and into the drama. There are a lot of people that wish for me to like cuss and rant and it's just not in my character to do that. It's not. It's not. I'm a self-defense guy, so in real life, in person, I defend myself if I feel threatened. But as far as the social media thing go, my only guilt, my only mistake is trying to talk to as many people as possible or trying to make as many people feel validated or valuable as possible. Thank you for commenting because you took the time to comment here. Thank you for tuning in. Big up yourself. Manners and respect. Yes, family. These are the way I talk to people. These are the things that I say. And a lot of those same people, they're snakes in the grass and they're enemies. And I'm over here saying, big up yourself, family. I, but you must understand, sir, words are words. All right? And I know who family really is. But at the end of the day, big up on yourself, man. Try a thing. They can try wherever they want to try. I stand, I stand solid in what I do. And fools will follow rumors and fools will follow what they claim to be proof and all that. I don't owe nobody no explanation. I keep it moving forward. I saw so Flow TV do it. Yeah? Like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comment in the comment section below. And don't tell me I shouldn't have made this video and answer them. Because sometimes I have to do it. For example... Walmart has to protect their brand. JCPenney has to protect their brand. That's why they have uh, PR people and so on and so forth and that do damage control and whatever. It's the same thing here on YouTube. And I've told people before, I don't care who want act like it's not, it is a business. Understand? It is a business. I'm out. Peace.